Hi, Connor. It's Eric Zilmer from Drexel University in Philadelphia. Thanks for checking out my classical guitar pieces. Also wishing you a happy holidays and thanking you for everything you do for the sport of squash and creating community via the infrastructure of squash radio. You've uh, been amazing. Listen, uh, a couple things about the pieces. And let me start with really my perception of the similarities between sports and classical guitar music, specifically squash. You know, I think they both celebrate the moment. You have to be in the moment to play squash at a high level and certainly when you play music you feel the same way and maybe the anticipation of the next moment which also becomes really important uh, we call that like the mythical zone in sports or in music um, also this kind of idea of mindfulness has gotten a lot of recognition i think in the sport of squash I also think they're both very creative, obviously. I mean, it's a celebration of creativity and freedom of expression. And uh, from a neuroscience point of view, I would argue that both squash and uh, classical guitar music are both nonverbal. I mean, you can play an entire squash match and not say anything unless you have to say what the score is. Uh, and the point of that is that both music in its classical form and squash have an underlying rhythm that people rely on and cherish and celebrate. And, uh, you know, one of my dreams is to record this kind of rhythm of the ball hitting the glass during a pro match and actually use that as a foundation of some music. I think that would be really cool. And uh, finally, you know, I think that they're both hard. I mean, it's really hard to play squash at a high level. And uh, the same is true for classical music. It's really one of the hardest things I do with my free time. But I, that's why I kind of like it, actually, because, of course, it challenges you. A couple things about the two pieces. The first one is a Malanga from Argentina. It's written by Abel Flori, is a well-known classic guitar composer. I first heard this piece when I was traveling to Buenos Aires with my field hockey team. We were playing some friendlies down in South America, and I really fell in love with this duo. And um, I, I got the sheet music, and I, I, I started learning it. And it's a great expression of South American music. The other piece, the second piece is a rumba. It's somewhat adapted from a French composer. You know, we put some of our own licks on it, a little more popish. Uh, and uh, but a rumba is actually a Cuban form of music. It's very traditional, kind of like dancing and street music. And um, also, I, this is a duo. I have a, a doubles partner, so to speak, in the classic guitar world. And it's easier to play doubles than it is to play singles. The same thing is true for music. But he's John Marcel Williams. He's really one of the most accomplished musicians of his generation. He's currently studying at the Curtis Institute of Music in Philadelphia under the tutelage of Grammy Award winning uh, artist Jason View. And he's also a graduate of the Peabody Conservatory of Music in Baltimore where he received his bachelor's and master's degree in music performance and studied with a very well-known legendary guitarist, Manuel Barueco. So um, thank you again for catching up with me. Thank you for allowing me to introduce music into the squash world. Although I just told you squash is a music. And uh, hey, thanks again. And thanks for uh, checking it out. Take care. Bye-bye.